you guys have seen me uh, make a lot of videos on my desk and stuff uh, but I think it's time to take you with me in a day of my life so join me in Pakistan we're gonna go through my businesses go through work go through different parts of Pakistan why I come to Pakistan or not so uh, let's go I guess join me in and, and we take it there I don't know so just so you guys are aware today's plan is basically we're gonna go to the offices I've got offices in Pakistan I mean most of you guys know that I'm from the UK but I've taken our offices in Pakistan because we run a lot of our um, back end from Pakistan. I will go through that and I guess I'll take you through it. But um, we're in Lahore, we're in Pakistan. I come here a lot, maybe once a month to be fair. Um, but yeah, let's get to the offices and, and give you a little bit of an insight of exactly what we do and how we do it. Then the office starts. I'm going to go into the office, see what's what, how everyone's doing, is everyone happy, and have a chat with everyone. Make sure we're making money. We deal with a lot of international clients from our Pakistan office. We also do recruitment from our Pakistan office. So I'll be having meetings with everyone, understand exactly where we're at. I don't come here a lot. And so I don't have much time when I come here. The idea now will be for me to uh, make sure everything's running smoothly, make sure business is well, make sure we're picking up more business. Maybe I'll show you guys how to pick up more clients and, and you know, get on the phones and that's what I stand for as well. So bear with me. कैसे काम कैसे जा रहा है ठीक है मैं क्या यार पूछा तेन कि क्या क्या सिचुएशन है वो पता करना पड़ता ना कि हर बंदे से क्या सिचुएशन है रही कैसा काम जा रहा है अच्छा सारे ठीक है कोई इशू किसी ने किसी ने कोई उची आवाज बोलिया हुआ दस दे मैं नहीं सारा ठीक है ना दूजा महीना हाली तो साढ़े ना स्टार्ट किया मैं क्या कि पूछ लूँ कि सारा ठीक जा रहा है ना सारा काम कूम ठीक जा रहा है ठीक है ना हाँ ठीक है ओके यावर कैसा ये रोलिंग वगैरह हो गया है लेकिन काम की बात ही करनी है मैं जा वो ऑनपोर्ट हो गए हैं दो क्लाइंट है और जरा यार लेकिन हमें क्वालिटी अच्छी चाहिए क्वालिटी हमें एक्सट्रीम चाहिए Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Is it worth just jumping on a call? I don't know if you can jump on a call in the next hour or so, just for me to get an idea. I'm in the office uh, and I'm in Pakistan, so um, if you can jump on a quick call for like ten minutes. Assalamu alaikum, Faisal Sahib, how are you? Right here. Laptop, yeah. How are you finding speaking to the guys on dealing with the leads and stuff? Right. It's quite simple. I mean. There's a few messages. How are we looking in terms of the people that are interested and the people like are there more people interested? Like any numbers? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I got I think maybe two or three people more right now. So what we're going to do? We're already providing the services of sales and cold calling, which is great. We can today uh, we can start providing the services of finding candidates for people as well. Is there anything else that you need to discuss with me? No, I think I mean it's it's fine. I'm actually, you know, just reaching out everybody right now, just trying to get, you know, you know, as much as I can. Guys, just to let you know, we've got a editing setup here as well, where a lot of the videos that you guys see, not all of them, most of them are actually done from the UK, but some of them are done from my man here, Jay Das, that uh, does the editing from here. So we're just reviewing some of the footage right now. क्योंकि उसको प्रॉपर आवाज आवाज नहीं नहीं आ रही होती होती है 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 तो 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 मेल्ट कर देता है। आपको अपनी आवाज, अपनी नहीं लगेगी हैं तो सही मेरे मेरे पास पास वैसे उसका मसला तो नहीं है। अब कितना ये फुटेज कितनी टोटल हो गई तो और मतलब चेक कि एक और कार्ड होगा मेरे पास चल ठीक है मैं देखता हूँ सो आई जस्ट नीड टू गेट इन um candidates for clients i've already got so we've got clients in saudi arabia we've got clients in the uk from an avenue of recruitment you know for those of you that know me i've got my own recruitment company what i now do is i already have my companies and my clients so the idea is i keep in touch with my companies um you know at least uh, once or twice a month and by the way i already have people that are in touch with the companies i am the director the ceo of the company and then i will give a call and make sure everything's running smoothly if you now are the one who is doing all the work finding the candidate sending them to the company and that sort of thing then you would be expected to sort of get in touch with the company you know every 
you know, week if you are doing business with them. If you're not doing business with them, it's case by case, by case basis. Uh, but yeah, so right now we're just gonna get in touch with all the companies, speak to about 10, 15 companies, make sure everything's running smoothly. Any complaints, anything that I can help with, I will do now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Habibi Ahmed, how are you, man? Alhamdulillah, man, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, yeah, all good, bro. The big, uh, Noah, the, the big guy, eh? the big CEO. Nah, you're the big guy. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> the big guy. <laughs> Allah, Allah Mubarak. <laughs> well, you on TikTok Live and that, yeah? Yeah, bro, we do TikTok Live. It's one of our ways of uh, marketing, getting orders and that. So okay. That we've been doing it uh, since we started. Do you find that works well for you? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, it does. It does. People like to see the behind the scenes. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's an insight to what goes on in the day to day life. And as you know, day in the lives, people love it. So. Of course, I'm doing one myself right now. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I'll make, I'll make sure. What, what's your, you've got, like a, you've got like a website or stuff, right? Yes, yes. Okay, inshallah. I'm going to leave it in the description of this video, inshallah. And it's the, yeah. it's the beautiful air fresheners for the cars, huh? That's the speciality. Yeah, uh, appreciate, appreciate it, man. Nah, anytime, bro. Anytime. So talk to me. You were saying that you needed someone, but I just, bro, what it was is I wanted to understand what sort of person you need to see if we can actually provide that person. I mean, to be honest, we can provide anything. It's just, we need to understand what you need, basically. So technically speaking, you don't need someone to be working or get something done in a certain amount of hours. You need them to be able to reply during the nine to five period uh, yeah. when an inbox or an in or a, or a email comes in and obviously then deal with the chats as well. Is that right? At the top of my head, I have like two people that come to mind straight away that can do it quite easily. You won't feel like you're speaking to someone from Pakistan, basically. Perfect. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for uh, getting on the call. And um, yeah, I'll give them a little brief and they'll send you a little message across. That's perfect. Man. Appreciate it, man. Assalamu alaikum wa I'm going to leave his link in the description. Air fresheners, cars, all of that stuff. Listen, we have to support each other. You know what I mean? That's what it's about. Supporting each other's businesses. So make sure you guys go support his business in the description as well. Right, guys. Office tour time, all right? Let's go for a little office tour. Now, this is the Pakistan office. Let's take you from the front. Let's take you from the front. Right, we enter here, all right? This is the entry. Camera there. I gotta check that from uh, the UK because I need, to, I need to check what's going on. You know what I mean? So this is the office in Pakistan. Uh, this cost me about 1,000 pounds a month. We've got a little bit of a kitchen area here. We have an office boy, lovely chap. I think you, will, you would have seen him before. Uh, he's here and obviously, you know, Cup of tea, cup, amazing coffee, by the way. Also, very important, right? Little prayer room. I'm not sure where the light turns on from, but you can see the prayer room there. And then we've got, we've got the office in the background. Now you can see here, there's seating enough for about 50, 60-ish people. Uh, 50, 60 people can sit here. Jeddah's my editor. He was playing Tekken before. I think he's turned that off because you guys are, the camera's on now, you know what I mean? But anyway, the office here, basically we offer consulting services, we offer sales, marketing, customer service to offices in, uh, or companies rather, in Canada, America, and the UK. And also we do recruitment from here as well. So a lot of the clients that I've got existing services with, uh, we basically do resourcing. We find candidates from this office. Uh, so all the stuff happens here. Fessel, lovely guy. If you know Fessel, because you guys use our services, comment below and let me know. Uh, we've got a space here as well, which is, going to be and isn't yet but will be a marketing sort of area uh, we will have editors here we'll have designers here uh, this is going to be that area where you know we're going to have a team here as well but this is fantastic it's amazing because it cost me a thousand pounds to run this office uh, sorry have this office to run the office it's probably about three three and a half thousand pounds i'll take you to the boardroom we've got a little bit of a boardroom now we haven't actually done anything there um, more because oh well to be fair I just haven't got around to sorting a boardroom out. But again, we've got the laptops here. We've got the desks here. Again, I'm not gonna have laptops if people don't work here, right? People do be, work, be here, but out of respect and privacy, I've just decided to do this office tour uh, here. As you can see, we've got a boardroom. I can't show you the boardroom right now. Can't show you the boardroom, guys. There's people in there. There's stuff happening in the boardroom. I can't show you that right now. But anyway, this is the office tour. If you like the office tour, I'm now gonna go, I'm gonna meet my cousin who got married yesterday, it was his Walima. Make sure you comment below and let's say, Allahumma barik Osama. We'll go see him. We're gonna take a little cake for him, a little something, something. And then we're gonna go meet someone extremely important. We're gonna go have a little meeting with someone and you guys can see that as well. Uh, so, you know, bear with me. Okay, so now we're off. We're just gonna go get cake and stuff. But 
one of the main things I wanted to talk to you guys about is I do a lot of stuff in Pakistan. I come here a lot. And as someone who was born in the UK, and actually I've spent all my life in the UK, one of the main reasons I love to come to Pakistan is because, you know, people don't really have that much money. I, I mean, a lot of people don't have that much money. Some people have a lot of money. Many people don't have a lot of money. But they have Iman. Like, there is genuinely, like, happiness in their hearts. Um, and if you ask someone, like, how's life, how is everything, even if things are very tough, they will say, Alhamdulillah, like, like we're happy. And it, I can't explain it, right? But there is some sort of happiness that people have in a country like Pakistan. And it's like peaceful, sakina, as they say, right? That you don't get in other countries. So I'm from Lahore, we're in Lahore. And genuinely, the happiness with people here, it's amazing, man. Like, you don't actually see people getting angry. Generically speaking, people are quite happy with their lives. And it's just lovely to see. All right, guys. We'll leave my time, eh? The groom. The groom is uh, the groom's house, the wedding house. We need to make sure we don't get family members in and stuff. But this is my, my cousin. Get the upar. No one's home. Clearly, we're just going to walk into the house ourselves. This is the groom. Good message. Say something. Message is here, yaar. Shadi, बहुत अच्छी चीज़ है. अच्छा. Young age में करनी चाहिए. अच्छा. तुम्हारी क्यों मरे? मैं young हूँ. तुम्हारी क्यों मरे? मेरी है यार कोई 22 साल. Okay. No problem. This is for you, brother. Open it. Let's have it together. Listen, listen, listen. A man Gadzi brings Rolex watches. We give donuts. Huh? Right guys, so we're off. We're gonna go see uh, a guest. We are a guest at their place, but they're a good friend of ours. They're like our brothers. So we're gonna go to theirs now. We'll tell you who they are. And uh, you, I guess you'll get to see them as well yourselves. Right guys, so we're going to uh, a good friend of ours uh, place, Haji Amir Bilaj Tipu. We're going to go spend uh, half an hour, 40 minutes there. Maybe longer to be fair. We might have to ask you guys to stay outside. We might let you guys come inside. Most probably it's going to be me that goes inside and then you guys will have to wait outside. We've got a couple of gifts for the brothers, so we're just going to take those. We're going to go inside, but we're going to have to ask you guys to stay outside, huh? Because... Uh, it's a, pri it's a private guest uh, space. Guys, come inside, come inside. Our, our good friend of ours, Amir Blaj Tipu, I want you to guys to see the, the cars that they've got here as well. And this is uh, a good friend and a good cousin of mine, Chaudhary Walid. Good friend of mine. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can see the, the, the cars they've got here. Good setup. You see in Pakistan, even in Pakistan, they, they're doing alright, you know. They, and just to give you guys an idea, they do uh, transport. So they do a lot of businesses with transport and all over Pakistan to be fair. But that's all for today. I'm going to carry on, but I'm going to have to leave you guys here. Chaudhry Walid, Salaam alaikum from, from me and, and Chaudhry Walid. So it's with a heavy heart that I'm having to make this video. Haji Amir Bilaj Tipu was actually murdered three days after me seeing him here. Um, you know, it's one of the craziest things that I've experienced in my life. I met him three days before. Uh, you know, I met him, he was lovely, you know, he was one of the most um, generous, loving guys that I knew, you know, he was like a brother to me, um, a good, good friend, and he treated me like a brother, and so if I can ask you guys to make da'a for him, um, you know, sadly, obviously, I can't ask him the questions, and I can't put him on, you know, get him in front of you guys, even if I wanted to, uh, it's one of the saddest things that I've experienced, uh, and please make da'a for him, he was a lovely guy, I knew him personally, uh, I'd really appreciate it.